Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons charges, planning attack vectors, you know. Relax. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this mission. Humans don't deal with stress the way Turians do. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? We could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. But look, it's a small ship. I know you've got something else going on. I don't want to do anything that screws up the crew relationship. We're wound tightly enough as it is. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Yeah. I've been thinking about what we talked about. Blowing off steam, easing tension. I've never considered cross-species intercourse. And damn, saying it that way doesn't help. Now I feel dirty and clinical. But I don't want to jeopardize the mission with some stupid love triangle. I know you've got other options. I think it might be easier if we just stuck with friendship. Yeah, probably for the best. There's not gonna be a love triangle. I'm choosing you, Garrus. That's... not what I expected to hear, not that I'm complaining. Well, pass the word. I don't want anyone on this ship nursing grudges. When you're free and clear, I'll be around. Are we crazy to even be thinking about this? I'm not sh Look, Shepard, I know you can find something a little closer to home. It was a silly idea. We're good friends. Let's not mess that up. Exactly. If we want to share an intimate moment, we can blow something up. Again. Regardless, Commander, it's an honor to serve with you. Whenever you need me, I'm here. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Definitely. Part of me still thinks we're crazy for even considering blowing off steam. But I want to try it with you. I want a few moments that are just for us before we throw ourselves into hell for the good of the galaxy. Garrus, I respect you too much to do this cheaply. I don't want to risk damaging our friendship. I suppose you're right. Risky enough without bringing another species into it. Regardless, I'm still honored to be here, Shepard. Let me know if you need anything. Hey. I brought wine. Best I could afford on a vigilante salary. If you were a Turian, I'd be complimenting your waist or your French. So, your um hair looks good, and your waist is very supportive. Hopefully that's not offensive in human culture. Crap. I knew I should have watched the vids. Tell me a line here, Shepard. Garrus, we need to rethink this. I don't want to hurt our friendship. Yeah, you're right. Let's leave it be. Probably would have torn a ligament or something anyway. I'll let you get back to work, Shepard. And I'll be there when you need me. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? Because that's how this works. My ship, my rules. Got it.
Just another boss man wanting to get into my head. I know the drill. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. You're a hard person to like, Jack. Really? I had no idea. What other amazing insights do you have that I'm too stupid to see? I should go. Yeah. See? Figured you'd walk. Come back sometime. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'd be lying if I said no. You're different. Figured. People always want something. Well, what? Right now, then? All right, Jack. I like how you move. I bet you do. Come here. Hey. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? If I want to talk to you, I will. I've been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. What I was thinking is, maybe you should fuck off, sir. You're calling it off? Just like that? I tried you out and had my fun, but now you're used goods. Same as all the others. The other night meant nothing? Yeah, I set the bait and you took it, like people always take from me. You're just like the rest. Shepard, you got feelings for me? Because I don't need the complication. Then don't worry. I'm not interested. Good. I didn't want you coming around here anymore anyway. You got what you want, Jack. We'll keep this business. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Hey. Talk to me, Jack. I got nothing to say. You act interested, but you got other things going. So don't pretend you coming down here is special. You make a lot of stops. What I do on my ship is my own business. No argument here. But don't come down here all concerned and careful if you're trying to shove it up someone else. You don't seem like the type to get hung up on that. Maybe you don't know what type I am. Is this about Miranda? Is this about Tally? I don't care where you play, but don't act like I'm precious if this is just killing time for you. You're the one I'm interested in, Jack. I'll make sure Tally knows. You're the one I'm interested in, Jack. I'll make sure Miranda knows. You do that. Then we'll talk. I make choices on the battlefield, not in the bedroom. I told you. I don't give a shit who you're sleeping with. But you've been talking like you want to understand, and that freaks me out. So if you're gonna keep doing that, you need to clear your head. I'm not ready to break it off. Then why the hell are you talking to me? Get the fuck out of here! Hey. Talk to me, Jack. Why? I'm not interested in some dumb shit love affair. It never goes right. Don't jerk me around, Jack. You're the one who isn't speaking plain. Murtok, a guy. Used me like the rest. For sex, for biotics. It was fun. 
And he ruined everything. We tagged a weapons frigate with a Batarian escort and got separated. He had a choice. Leave with the guns, or come back for me. Idiot dumped the score and waded into the squints. I made the shuttle, but no way he was getting out. And? I fly for a day or so, and then the shuttle kicks out this recording. He set it to play if he hadn't checked in. He figured that would mean he was dead. Talked about the future we were supposed to have. How he had planned to set us up a home. How he... How he loved me and he was sorry it wasn't going to happen. How many Batarians did you kill for that one? Wasn't their fault. It was his. You feel, you get sloppy. It's that damn simple. He found out, and you'll find out. How about a little effort here, Jack? I'm getting tired of the wall you put up. It's there for you too. Don't you get it? This will screw your mission. You want out alive? You goddamn run. If you're not willing to try to be normal, I guess this was a waste of time. I guess so. See you around. Let's go kill something sometime. Hey. We need to discuss our relationship. I said I want to think about everything. I just... You know what it's like to think you're alone and find out you're not? Pretty much, yeah. You don't have to agree so fast, you fucker. This is getting tiresome, Jack. I thought you weren't the thinking type. What are you getting at, Shepard? Don't 180 on me. I've got other options. You understand, right? I've got other options. You understand, right? Right. I said I didn't care where you played. That's your call. Your ship. Don't need you in my head anyway. You're tough, Jack. You don't need me trying to dig into your head. What I don't need is you deciding all this shit for me. I'm not here so you can play whenever you want. Fine. You're right. I don't need this shit. Get out. Fuck off! Shepard. Well, I wasn't expecting you, Jack. I was thinking about you and... Maybe you're right. That I need... You're the one who walked away. I know, okay? Maybe that wasn't right, but... I'm trying. I'm sorry, Jack. Fixing you isn't my job. What the hell, Shepard? Why do this to me? You're just like... Like everyone. Maybe I'm just too much for you to handle. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Maybe not everyone, Jacob. I want to learn more about you. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. How do I inspire you, Jacob? How do I get under your skin? I signed on for this before you were conscious. I don't need motivation. Unless there's something specific you're after. I'm not trying to make trouble, Jacob. Just getting to know what makes everyone tick. At least you're up front. You know how the Alliance loves their psych reports. Don't even need you there to make them. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. They'll have something to see by the time we're done. No doubt. We'll be right in the middle of whatever goes down. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. I know you and Miranda work together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Just making sure I won't get my ass shot off if I make a move on you. Well, I wasn't expecting that, Commander. Shepard, I haven't looked at you that way. I, I mean, I've looked, sure, but not seriously. A an option. Just not one I take. Okay. 
Now that I sound like an idiot, what I mean is, I won't disrupt the ship with this. That makes sense. I'm not looking to make life difficult either. I'm good with that, Commander. Didn't bring any baggage aboard, and not taking anyone I go. I should get back to work. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. I'd like that, Shepard. Been some rough running so far. Feels good to put a lid on my past and focus on what's important. Our mission. What it means. You. You're hitting me in a way I wasn't expecting. I won't let old wounds get in the way of that. What are you looking for, Mr. Taylor? Anything more than Commander and crew? You like toying with me. All right, here it is. I've been dreading this talk since we found the Gurns back. I want you around because you're a soldier too. You gotta get it. All that weight just isn't worth carrying. Lying to yourself won't help. It'll just eat at you. What I really don't need is someone telling me I don't know myself. You think about my problems more than I do and it needs to stop. Maybe you should go hang on Thane. Those eyes probably hide a lot of her. If you're looking for someone to help, maybe you should go hang on Thane or Garrus. I'm sorry, Commander. Let's cut this short. I've got things to do. Okay, I believe you. So let's talk about the part where you want me around. That just slipped out there, huh? Yeah, you got me. I'm thinking about you. As long as we're clear on what you're looking for. I like it light, Shepard. There's too many that have it worse off for our problems to stick. Maybe I'm looking for something a little more involved. I'm not looking to change what you need, Shepard. But there's not much point in doing this if I'm just not it. Maybe we're not such a good match. Too much of the same thing. Maybe. Can't say I didn't warn you it was a bad idea to push this. No hard feelings, Shepard. The ship is tense enough. You're too close to see how it affects you. I would be too. Well, maybe that's more about you. Out of all of us, you're the one who could probably most use a place to vent. So, Shepard, how about we turn it around? What are you carrying? What do you need to get rid of? I don't need you digging into my head, Jacob. Not so much fun when the microscope's on you. Now maybe you get where I'm coming from. Let's drop it, Shepard. Seems like neither of us is really into this. Just a bad idea. I'll take your orders on missions, Shepard. But time on ship is mine. Are we gonna have a problem working together? Only if you make one, ma'am. No hard feelings otherwise. I apologize for upsetting you. No need. Just a bad idea from the start. We'll talk later. Commander. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. You know, Shepard, I like where you're taking this, but I get the feeling you're trying to stack your options a little high. I think Garrus would appreciate knowing you're branching out. But if he steps aside, maybe... Well, you let me know if you aren't serious about the Turi, and that's all I'm saying. I have no reason to get into a pissing match with Thane over this. But if he steps aside, maybe... Well, you let me know if you aren't serious about the Drell. That's all I'm saying. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. You impressed the hell out of me, Shepard. We might actually get through this because of you. Keep it up, I may volunteer for fewer suicide missions. Haven't been this fired up in a long time. It's all you. All of it. This is more involved than I wanted, Jacob. Let's not complicate things. After all this, you about face? Right. I wonder, how many talks have you had about loyalty and opening up? How many people have you persuaded to follow you? Ever think maybe it's you? Maybe you're the one who's uncertain. I'm good with us being done, Commander. We need to focus. All of us. Sounds like we're moving ahead. Maybe we can finally get into what's bugging you. 
We don't need to worry about anything bothering me, Shepard. We got a good thing starting here. Don't invent problems. Besides, not a lot of time for heart-to-hearts when we're about to shove a foot up the galaxy. We've come far enough to get a little deeper, to talk about your problems. That's how it works. <laughs> how little do you get me if that's what you think will make everything better? Even if you were right, how small would my problems be if you could fix them with grad school psych and a crying jag? What's your problem, Jacob? I'm just trying to help. I didn't think anything was wrong until you kept bringing it up. I guess that makes you my problem, Shepard. Know what? This was a bad idea. Let's keep an official line. Stay focused on what matters. I want to help you. It's what I do for people I care about. I'm not looking for help. This was a bad idea, Shepard. You and I, we're not working. We need to keep an official line from now on. I don't need to go digging for more problems. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. Figured we were good, Shepard. Not going too hard, not pushing. There's something I should be concerned about. We've got a good thing going here, something I'd like to see through. Hope you feel the same. This was a bad idea. I think we should call it quits. You pushed for more, now you pull the plug? Hope you've got a good excuse for this one. I just don't think we need to get in any deeper. Let's call it a good time and let it go. Just like that. Know what? I'm good with that. A big official line between us, the way it should be. I should have listened to you early on. This will just complicate things. Complicate things? Yeah, it's done that. Whatever, Shepard. Your boat, your rules. If you must know, I'm cleaning house before trying to start something with Garrus. Garrus? That cuddlebone? I suppose you like your men wounded. That brings them in. That cuddlebone? I suppose you have a history. That's usually enough. Well, if you must know, I'm cleaning house before trying to get to know Thane better. The Drell? It's the sad eyes, right? That always brings them in. All right, Shepard. You want to pretend this makes it okay? I can do that. A nice official wall. Go do what you want. I don't need the hassle. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. I prefer to keep it professional from now on, Commander. We'll talk later. Shepard. Shepard? Look at this. Like sneaking into the captain's quarters. Heavy risk. But the prize. If you're here to talk about how much you don't want to talk, I have other things to worry about. You're right. I didn't come here to talk. We're on our last hours. Heading straight into the enemy. I wanted... I want you. Before we win, lose, whatever. Doesn't matter. I love you. Keep that thought, Mr. Taylor. We need every motivator we can get if we're gonna prove everyone wrong. You are a hard woman to figure out, Shepard. We have no plans for the trip back, but you'll put me off? You just can't resist pushing my buttons. Last chance for me to return the favor. Good night, Jacob. We'll have our day. I was wondering when you'd show. What's your intention, Jacob? To give the Collectors every kind of hell I can. Suicide or not. But until then... I want all the time I can get. Win. Lose. It doesn't matter. I want you. Keep that thought, Mr. Taylor. 
We need every motivator we can get if we're gonna prove everyone wrong. You are a hard woman to figure out, Shepard. We have no plans for the trip back, but you'll put me off? You just can't resist pushing my buttons. Last chance for me to return the favor. Guess someone should have said a few simple little words earlier. Oh, you are cold. And so damn good. How do you make me like this? when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Be yourself, Kelly. We don't need military protocol getting in the way. I agree completely. Just keep doing your job and we'll be fine. Yes, ma'am. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the Collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. If she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. I'm standing right here. Where's my hug? Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. When things settle down, I hope we'll find some time to get to know each other better. I look forward to that day. This mission takes priority. There's no time for socializing. That's a shame. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. At least I get to share it with you. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. Wait. About before. When we kissed. I know you're not involved with anyone now, but... But that doesn't mean... Just because we were together before. I miss you, but it's been two years. I don't want to put pressure on you. Okay. Let's give it some time, then. For now, what if you came back to the Normandy for a drink? I'd like that. Good. Next time I come back, it's a date. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I didn't come down here just to talk about data. I know. We have some unfinished business. But just because we were together before, I know. But you have someone. I've spent two years hunting for the Shadow Broker. I need to find out what happens next. Maybe someday we'll be together. But for now, you deserve to be happy. At least let me take you out of here. I can see the new Normandy. Maybe have a drink. Look, about the kiss. We just finished the fight. I miss you. But it's been two years. I don't want to put pressure on you. I'll let you get back to work then. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. It's not a good idea, Liara. Let's keep it professional. Of course. I understand. I'll be here if you ever need me.
Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although he did ask if you and I would be acting out scenes from some vid called Vanya. Of course he did. I'd be worried if he weren't saying things like that. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. Seems like forever since I was an Alliance soldier. First I get tapped for the Spectres, now Cerberus. You succeed against odds most people wouldn't even take on. It's no wonder everyone wants you on their side. But I know it wears on you. So, how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Honestly, I'm tired. Tired of dealing with Cerberus. Tired of the Council ignoring me. Tired of my closest friends not believing me. Yes, I heard about what Caden said on Horizon. I'm sorry. But their short-sightedness doesn't diminish what you've accomplished. You destroyed the Collectors. That's... Oh, you lost people. I wasn't thinking. It was rough, but they gave their lives to save the galaxy. They should have statues on the Presidium, but so few will ever know what they did. It's funny. Finally, just the two of us. And we still end up talking about everyone but ourselves. So tell me what you want. If this all ends tomorrow, what happens to us? Come on, Liara, you've seen the data. Even if we win, you and I won't get to see the parade. Then what's the damn point? Of drinks, or conversation, or any of it? If we could all die tomorrow? Some days I ask myself the same question. Then... I should get back to work. I'll... we'll talk next time you come by. My father got me the best jeans money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. Does it always have to come back to your father's genetic tailoring? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. Wait a minute. Are you jealous? Don't be absurd. The genetic mutt that the elusive man put in charge. That must sting. First, it's not a competition. Second, based on your combat records, you're practically a perfect bloody human specimen. I'm sorry. I know the mission comes first, and I'm glad we can work together. As am I, Commander. And it's most definitely not a competition. I'm proud to serve with you. I should get back to work, but thank you for coming by. I can't admire your body or your mind. You give your father too much credit. Yeah, he gave you gifts. But you can be proud of what you've done with them. Oh. Thank you. Perhaps I wouldn't mind if you admired my body. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. We need to stay professional. Keep our focus. Yes, you're right. This is too important for anything to cause... friction. Thank you for coming by, Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. But I won't be shared. If it's going to go anywhere, everyone on this ship needs to know that you're mine. I wondered when you'd come back. Listen, whatever happened was a simple mistake, nothing more. And if you think anything like that's gonna happen while you're doing the same with someone else, you're very mistaken. I don't think it's going to work between us, Miranda. Thought as much. Probably for the best. Someone needs to keep a clear head. 
Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some work to do. I need some time to think. Take all the time you need. You know where I'll be. You're the only one I care about, Miranda. Then you need to make that clear to someone else. Let her down, and then we'll talk. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. I don't know what this is. If this is stress, or just blowing off steam, or... Look, Miranda, I just wanted to apologize for what happened before. I think we should keep things professional. Yeah, I was thinking the same. The mission comes first. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some work to do. I care about you, Miranda. And I think you care about me. What are you so afraid of? That you might actually start caring for somebody? This is no time for emotional entanglement. You and I know more about the Collectors than anyone. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? This isn't the time to be getting involved, is it? No. I don't think it is. Maybe someday? After we save the galaxy? Let's see how it goes. Until then, friends? Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Always. I'm dealing with a few loose ends for Cerberus. We haven't had much free time lately. But I haven't forgotten our earlier discussion. I think we're crazy, but I haven't forgotten. Assuming you're still interested. This won't work, Miranda. We're too much alike. We need to stay professional. I'm sorry you feel that way. But I understand. It's simpler this way, in any event. No complications. That's probably for the best. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. I'll talk to you later. Oh. Pardon me, Commander. I've cleared the engine room. I'll be there in five minutes. Miranda, you know I want to, but this isn't the time. We need to focus on the mission. Hmm. Always thinking about the job. No matter what you have to give up in the process. The elusive man chose well when he picked you. I'll keep you updated with any mission reports. How do you like my look, Shepard? Convincing? No one has a clue about Mother. It remains our little secret. You've been through a lot. I'm always fine, Shepard. I learned hundreds of years ago to look out for myself. How do you handle such a solitary life? I get lonely at times. I never really feel the love of another, at least not for long. I don't suppose there's anything I can do about that. But I want you to know something. My lovers spent their last moments experiencing pleasure you can't imagine. Like Neff. She died because her nervous system overloaded, with an ecstasy so great she couldn't handle it. Why tell me this? I want to give you that, Shepard. I want you to feel every nerve in your body pulsing with pleasure. I know all about you, Morinth. Why would you even try seducing me? I'm not trying to kill you. I think you're the only person I've met who could be with me and live. You have the Prothean Cypher in your head. You died and came back. There's no one like you. You and I can share something so intense so deep it will change your life you're a good member of my crew let's keep our relationship professional you'll never experience anything like this i'll give you something you can't have anywhere else and you're strong enough to embrace it i won't pressure you just keep it in mind shepherd i thought we could chat a bit I would like that. You have been a good friend to me. Samara, we have a connection. I would not have dreamed that one so young could touch me. But Shepard, you must put the thought from your mind. 
It can never be. Samara, it can be. You just have to open your mind. I serve a code stronger and deeper than any feelings. If we survive this mission, my oath to you ends. I will be bound by the code again. That makes a relationship impossible. Nothing says we have to start a relationship. Shepard, I am flattered by your persistence. If I were a maiden, I'd drag you to the floor right now. But I am not a maiden, and sex without emotion simply doesn't interest me. It will not be. Accept it. You've kept tight control for a long time. But you still have needs, Samara. I have the strength to withstand my own drives, Shepard. You don't have to. The galaxy won't end if you find a little happiness. You're different from anyone I've met. I think I could find more than happiness with you. But my self-control is who I am. Don't pursue this, please. I understand, Samara. I'll say no more. Thank you. I am grateful. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I can't imagine you'd want to. I'm still sick, and I always babble when I get a fever. I, I think I said something stupid about linking suit environments and intimacy and trust. Probably nothing you need to think about, though. Wait. I can't tell under the helmet. Are you blushing? What? No! It's the fever! It's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for a... Um, Intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? Tally, that's really sweet, but I don't feel that way about you. I'm sorry. Right. Right. Of course not. Why would you? It was just something I meant hypothetically. Talking about immune systems and air filters and such. I'm going to tinker a bit more. Thanks for coming by. Shepard. What can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes. I'd like that. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. And I do trust you. I hope you know that. This means something to me. It means a lot. But I don't want... ...to share you. Tally, there's a good chance that none of us are coming out of this fight alive. Don't ask me to choose. I'm not asking anything, Shepard. One way or the other, you know how I feel. If you want to find comfort in someone else's arms, I won't hold it against you. Hila, it'll be easier for both of us. Just keep it honest, okay? It's a small ship. Word travels. You don't need to share me. I'm not interested in anybody except you, Tally. Oh. Well, then I'll talk to you later, once you've made that clear to Jack. Then I'll talk to you later, once you've made that clear to Miranda. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. Forget about it, Tally. We're friends. Yes, right, friends. And I'm honored to serve at your side, Shepard. Are you saying that you don't want- No, no! It's- it's not about what I want. It has nothing to do with that. You deserve to... be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I- I could get sick, jeopardize the mission. I don't want to risk your safety, Tally. Maybe it would be better if we were just friends. Yes, right, friends. And I'm honored to serve at your side, Shepard. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something... someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? 
Tally, I can't risk it. Your safety is too important. I won't do that to you. Of course. I understand. No hard feelings, Shepard. Can't blame a girl for trying. What you said earlier was right. Doing this could endanger the mission. I can't risk that. What? So everything you said, you're just... You're just casting it aside because it's inconvenient? Damn it, Shepard. I trusted you. Just... Just go away. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I'm pretty busy here, Shepard. Just... I need to work. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. So... I've taken some antibiotics as well as some herbal supplements that should bolster my immune system. I was going to bring music, but I didn't know what you'd like. And I'm babbling like an idiot. This isn't right, Tally. We're already taking too many risks as it is. We can't do this. You're right. I know you're right. Can't blame a girl for trying, though. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Of course, Shepard. Join me. I've been thinking about you. And I you. But it's occurred to me that I might not be foremost in your mind. I'm sorry, Thane. I don't think we should continue this. I'm under no illusions. My body's time grows short. If you change your mind, I will wait. You're the only one I want, Thane. That is... I'm glad to hear that. But others on the ship need to have that made clear. When no one else competes for your eyes, I will be here. Will you hear my confession, Siha? Lately it feels like all our discussions are confessions. I've been introspective since I came aboard. That needs to change. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family. But I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. I guess you're lucky we came along when we did. It was an intervention by the gods. I would have died in that penthouse. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. You're alive because I wounded your pride? Pride is the line between a professional and a thug. But I met another Siha. Few are privileged to meet even one. You still haven't told me what a Siha is. One of the warrior angels of the goddess Arashu. Fierce in wrath. A tenacious protector. I confess, I've come to care for you. Perhaps I'm being foolish. We are very different. We are very different people, Thane. I wouldn't be able to replace Erica. You wouldn't have. You can love more than one in a lifetime. I'll respect your wishes. I won't speak of it again. I hope it won't offend you if I carry you in my heart. I shall return to my meditations. Be well. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha. But any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you? You are well? I've been thinking about your illness. Understandable. I don't think I can do this. Love you now, only to lose you later. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shepard, we made no vows to each other. We are both unbound. I have no wish to be a burden to you. If it is your wish, I will turn aside. It is my wish. I understand. It isn't easy to lose someone you care for. You've already lost a great deal in your life. We need to talk. I'm listening. There is someone else. I think we should see the people. I see. I'm sorry. 
If you're sure, I'll accept it. But I would ask that we discontinue our talks here. I have to follow my heart. Of course you do. If you will excuse me. Shepard, you made your feelings clear. I thought I had as well. I'm trying to meditate. Please excuse me. I will be of no bother to you. All I ask is to be left alone. Dane. See her. I... I have known I will die for many years. I've tried to leave the galaxy better than I found it. You've helped me achieve more than I thought possible. We've righted many wrongs. I've spoken to my son. I should be at peace on the eve of battle. Stop. Don't give me a speech. I'm ashamed. It's pre-combat jitters. It's been a long time since you had anything to lose. We'll be there for each other. That's the best anyone can do. Yes, of course you're right. You must be feeling the same thing. I thought I'd move beyond such things. It seems there's always more to learn. Thank you, Sia.